Is work a little stressful? You need a way to unwind and you're looking to be happy? That's what we're gonna talk about. Stay with us. Everybody, welcome back to our, uh, what do we call this? This is our little show. This is just happiness and joy beyond measure. Well, hopefully it can be, well, I guess it doesn't have to be That's measured. That's too long. That wouldn't fit very well in the little video box under the video. Just No, don't do that. No. Nah. It's Scott and Jeff out here. We're at, uh, it doesn't matter where we are. It could be anywhere. It's, it's, it's Main Street America. But, but the name of this place is cool. We have to mention yeah. it. It's Cowabunga. Cowabunga Bay. Cowabunga Bay. Cowabunga Bay. Yeah, I forgot it's not the just bay. Cowabunga. I mean, it's, it's fun. Yeah. But it's also a body of water. And there's a big bay. Actually, it's not a body of water. We're here in the middle of the desert uh, ah. in Salt Lake City, Utah. And uh, it's just a kind of a smaller little water. Smaller little water. Smaller. Water, so it's, it's a little river it's, band, it's is a, what it is. It's a little water park. And uh, have you been to it? I have not. I've been to stuff like this before. I'm sure that you have as well. When you want to kind of get out and start lightening up a little bit, you're going to do something kind of goofy and crazy. Let's just go to a water park. Well, the thing is, the, yeah, the reason why we're here is for that very reason. Uh, it, it, it's to sort of, uh, you know, kind of inspire this idea of getting up, getting out, doing something fun, especially if tension <laughs> is, is one of your issues. You know, kind of the stress of work, uh, you know, that can really hamper happiness. You know, we get so caught up in our role, in our title, yeah. in uh, preparing for this. And get, what do you mean preparing? Oh for this? well, I, you Are know, you worked up about no, this? one of the things that makes me so tense. It's almost a pet peeve. Is when I'm preparing for something like this, or when I'm going to do a jig, you know, a gig, <laughs> present to a thousand people, or whatever. Right? Talk to them about how to be a better We're both presenter. Blah blah blah. Speakers. We're yeah. Out in front of audiences I've got the to time. nail every if and or but. You know, kind of cross every T. If I miss that little word, I'm a failure. When in fact, no. You just got to kind of. Light now you up. don't actually think that. Well, you're, talking, you're sort of projecting it on on these people. Yeah. yeah. Because by now, all the years you've been doing it, I mean, do you really stress out about all the no, dotting of the no, T's? No, no. Now there have been situations in my me. life, like when uh, you know I'm getting ready for a really super important comedy performance or an audition. You know, okay, I got to make sure I get this. But you know, there is a sense of improvisity that you got to have. What is that? You well, it's the art of improvisationness. So you're, what you're saying is, and what I believe you're saying is that there's some benefit, and if you're not, I'm going to go ahead and say it. Go for it. There's some benefit to having nervous energy. Oh, yeah. But you have to know how to harness it yeah. and not let it take over because the, the acid in your stomach can bubble up. Ugh. It becomes uh, uh, almost like reflux. Yeah. You know, one of the things we also talk about when we're te teaching people how to be pre uh, better presenters is to not stutter. <laughs> That's the first thing. It's the it's the Speak the clearly. nervous ticks, you know. Yeah. Like you you're up there, and, and all of a sudden, if you're videoing yourself, and you go back and look at a video of yourself, and you're you know picking your nose every thirty seconds, that's a tick. Well, and you have that you got to lose crutches. You know, you say yeah. certain words, you use certain uh, phrases again and again and again. I've noticed that when I go back and I sometimes watch videos that I've been doing with other clients, like sometimes they have me come out and do live videos for their social media feeds, is that I end up saying. If I don't understand something, or it's just, it's, I just don't know where to go, I'll go, it's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> that is really, really cool. And I, yeah. I, I watched one and I said it about a thousand times. Awesome. The awesome. key, of course, is to be able to not stress too much about it. But yes, you know, uh, evaluate your performance. If, if you're a speaker, or if you're doing anything on camera, mm -hmm. or if you're in front of an audience, from the boardroom to a conference room to the lunchroom mm -hmm. to an auditorium, you know, if you can somehow record it, Take a look at it and, and be honest and, and judge do you, yourself. Do you have any rituals you do right before you go on stage? Because I know I do. And it's the stupidest thing, but I've always done it. Well, I have one. It's, and I'll let you do yours. Here's mine because it's not really a ritual, but it sort of is. Because I can tell yours is some sort of physical thing. <laughs> mine is basically, and it depends on the audience, is who cares? I just okay. tell myself, who cares? Nobody cares. And what I mean by that is, is these people have no idea what I'm planning to say. They have no idea what I've prepared. And they want you to succeed. They want me to succeed, yeah. but they don't know slash care if I've messed up. They're yeah. not reading along in a mm -hmm. program word for word the script that I'm supposed to be giving or the message that I'm trying to give. Yeah. It, it, they literally, who cares? And if you go out on stage with a who cares mentality, uh -huh. 
you're you're kind of like Cowabunga Bay yeah. back here. You just know, go this for it, man. Weird, wacky. Just it's not you know nothing is uniform. You just get to be yourself. You get to lighten up and be free and have fun. What's your backstage? Hey, you ready? You watching? Yeah. Uh huh. Three hops. That's what it is. Now I <laughs> that's find, a lot easier. Yeah, that's so easy. I don't know. It's just some stupid ritual. But and if I'm in front of the group already, I'll just kind of. You know, I'll just do three little, you know, so I'm not like, you know, in a formal presentation, <laughs> getting ready for a church talk, you know? Yeah. Woo! <laughs> All right. Good morning, brothers and, and sisters. Now here's Brother Bert. Yeah. <laughs> but it's just, I don't know. And, oh, you know, I don't remember to do it every time. But yeah. when I do, I just, that's eh, just stupid. But hey, what the heck? But it's a way to Who channel. Who cares, right? You're channeling that nervous energy. You're channeling those chemicals in your body that are flowing around. Yeah. Yeah. And it's a good way to do that. In fact, as we wrap up uh, this particular segment of how to be happy, we just want to be happy. Everybody wants to be happy. And, and this is just another offshoot. You know, if you have work presentations or you have to give a speech or just work is winding you up, it's hard to be happy. So get out, have a little fun, de-stress somehow. Well, find, how do you, what are your three, uh, so top three, three ways, ways to de-stress? To, to have fun and get out. Uh, number three for me is uh, playing catch. What, like with a baseball? Yeah, a baseball, okay. a football, frisbee. a frisbee. Okay, you know, I like that. Get out on the street with the boys and yeah. just, uh, I just love, it. just playing, I could play catch for hours and hours. I'm just a guy. So number three for me is is just going out and hanging with the wife. Now, I'm not placing my wife in third priority in my life. Of course not. But number three is just to go out, you know what, we're going to go to the, the outlet malls and just hang out and, you know, get some pretzels or whatever. So that's number three for me. Okay. Uh, number two for me uh, is probably, and these aren't necessarily in any particular order, especially yeah. since you've just given your wife number three position. <laughs> wow, she really won the poll there. Um, I'm going to say um, uh, w w bowling. Oh, my gosh. You're yeah. not kidding. This I, guy. I love to bowl. He has got the hook. Well, it's a Midwest thing. We all know how to bowl. I'm from Michigan. <laughs> so that's right. You have to you have to shake hands with the pin. Uh, that's yeah, yeah. How you doing, Mr. Pin? Yeah. So number two for me is hiking. Oh. Love to get out, go hiking. Not a big, long, you know, five mile or anything. I can just get up, walk up to a, a waterfall. Might be an hour round trip, whatever that works for me. A lot of fun. Number one yeah. for me is basketball. Uh, mm. I've been playing basketball for many, many years. And many people would think, how is that a relief of stress? Uh, because it can be so mean spirited and all the people that act like jerks. But the fact is, is that I found a group of people who are, have actually have a lot of fun. They don't you know, they call their own files. Nobody gets in fights. We all agree if you're going to come play with us, you have to have the right perspective. And mm. if you come and we don't like you, we ask you to not return because our whole group <laughs> is about de-stressing and That's just That's why I the don't game. play. Yeah. Yeah. So, number one for you? Number one for me is traveling. I, if, when I, I get antsy wow. if I'm home for three or four weeks <laughs> and I got to get on a plane. I just got to. And, and you know, when I walk into that hotel room and I just I don't know I just get away from your wife I kid. know there she is again appearing in my lower top three <laughs> yeah, well, you know she's number one to get away from yeah. isn't that nice but I love to travel I so you know traveling yeah. can make you happy so if you want to be happy here's a couple of tips for you rewind this and watch it again Hey, why don't you go ahead in your comments below, what are your favorite ways to de-stress? Let us know. Hit the subscribe button. Marcus is one of your favorites. We would love that. See you next time.